<laughs> okay, cool. It's gonna record now, but uh, so we should be Is that what you're gonna say? No, I can just edit it out. <laughs> okay, so do you guys know a lot about um, Treasure Island by Greta? You guys no. did a long time ago. No. Okay, so it's about this boy who goes on like this trip to find treasure with all these pirates, and then it's like his adventures and all this side stuff. And so, what I want to do for this lesson is to, uh, <laughs> to like explore the language and stuff. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. What is this? Words. 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 Okay. Um, they communication has essentially evolved. Okay, so um, for this lesson, we're going to be going over pirate language and tweets. So, um, can I get someone to read just the red part? I'll do it. Well, since I now know there's such a fellow in my district, you may count I'll have an eye open upon you to stay at night. I'm not a doctor only. I'm a magistrate. I catch a breath of complaint against you. Okay, so what do you think this means? He's angry. He's angry. And what's he saying, essentially, if I catch a breath of complaint against you? Like, what does that imply? That if somebody says something about me, I'm going to say it. Yeah. And so, we would we talk this way now? Like, how do you think we would say this? <laughs> exactly like that? Yeah. Okay, so this is a tweet that I found that I think captures the essence of this sentence. I'm watching you, don't screw up. So how is I'm watching you, don't screw up, different but yet the same as the language from the first? How is it different yet at the same time, the same meaning? And so the language here, he uses more, um, lar he uses larger words to get his point across, but it essentially means the same thing. So what can be said about our language today if we use smaller words? Yeah, we're more concise and to the point, and there's not a lot of fluff. Okay, so let's try the next one. Anybody want to read this one? Here I am. Well, then, speak up. What is it? <laughs> so, how do you think someone would tweet this? What's that? I'm <laughs> Say it to my face. Does it make you think he's angry? Oh. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> now I see it. Yes. I did. Okay. What do you want? Hurry. So this is just another example of how we are more concise with our language and how you can get the point across with uh, fewer words, but it still holds the same meaning. Okay, next one. I'll read this one. <laughs> My friend should perhaps have taken you along with him, but the slight, if there was one, was unintentional. So this one, he uses um, words that we all know, but I don't, I don't think that the words here would be used in a tweet. No. No. Like, slight. Who says slight? No one. British people. British people, <laughs> maybe. Which is a whole different ballgame <laughs> compared to <laughs> how British people talk and how Americans talk. But in, a, in American terms, what do you think it would say here? In a tweet. Okay, let's 
let's talk about the word slight. What do you think slight means? Small. Small? Oh, not in this context. <laughs> not in this error. context, but you're right. What did you say? An error. An error? Another guess. I just forgot what it's called. It's not a compliment. It's the opposite. Insult? Yeah. An insult, right, right. Yes. <laughs> Good job, guys. So the slight was unintentional. Now that we know the slight is um, an insult, what do you think the tweet will say? I didn't mean to insult you. My bad. My, my bad, boo. <laughs> yeah, right. I swear I didn't mean to throw that shade, man. So like... <laughs> It's still sassy, but I think we see sassy language as different from when Treasure Island was written. They tweeted that on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now for the fun part. <laughs> okay, uh, with no intention to take my to take offense, I deny your right to put words into my mouth. Okay, so make your own tweet. Thinking about the language, <laughs> just say what you think that would mean in 21st century language. If you want to see it, go back. I already forgot it. Okay. You guys got You guys are good? So who wants to volunteer <laughs> to read their answer? It's okay, let's hear it. Let's no. hear it. I think mine's um, no. okay. 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 Mine's just stupid. No, it's like, sorry, bro, but I never said that. Yeah. I'm like, I only say good things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dalton? Mine doesn't say the same thing. <laughs> That's okay. That's that's the point of language and communication. It can all be different. Mine said, "You didn't tell me what to do." <laughs> Marissa, I said, "Stop saying I said that." That's yeah. That's what I'm looking for here. <laughs> you want to read yours? Oh. <laughs> In the front. <laughs> <laughs> so write this like you're also angry 
and a tweet. It can be about whoever you want within reason. Let all of the anger out. Mine says, that girl is ignorant, mean, and stupid, hun hunty, and she thinks she all out of the bag of chips. Mm. Hashtag drag. <laughs> so that is a very good modern take on this. <laughs> <laughs> you use parallel structure, right? Did you say three different things? Yes. Intolerable, homebound, unmanly, unsailorly, and downright un-English. So you used all of the same. That's very good. I like that. I like that. Marissa. Joe Biden is easy, so stupid, and unmanly, and insensitive. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, so I have one more. I'll read this one. Paint much used for fools. You may lay to it that nor nothing, um, I'll read this one, cried Silver, but now you look here, you're young, you are, but you're as smart as paint. I see that when I set my eyes on you, and I'll talk to you like a man. I have a question. Yes. What does smart as paint mean? Because that I makes me sound stupid. I am not as smart as paint. I thought that was a question. But then it says, I see that when I set my eyes on you, and I'll talk to you like a man. So maybe he's not complimenting her for her stupidity, but putting a spin on it. As smart as human. Did you read language? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna take this as he's not very smart. Okay. He's just young. Can I use thousand people to buy freedom of speech? Yeah. Freedom of speech. Okay. 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 Okay.
Nobody is gonna listen to a fool. You was young and stupid. Get some darn darn school in, and then you can act like a grown man. <laughs> Good. <laughs>
is it um, that you are so confoundedly hot headed? That could be um, an example of hyperbole. So, it's an extreme exaggeration. So, after learning all of this, what do you guys think about language and how it's used? in modern terms and in Treasure Island in 1882. Like sell it from Zion. Yeah, that, that's, no, that's good, that's good. It doesn't make it any different from our little crumpled up piece of paper. Words change, but ultimately they stay the same. Yeah, yeah. Much for helping me out. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for Claps for you. Out.